Now, our lives become more hectic with work, family commitments and endless to-do lists. We find ourselves neglecting our passions, social life and more often than not, our mental and physical health. Many people volunteer in order to make time for their hobbies and to give back to the community whilst doing so. There are so many amazing benefits to volunteering, which might include socialising, that's meeting new people with shared interests and values, personal growth and self-esteem, as you stretch yourself physically and mentally out of your comfort zones, a sense of achievement, working together to reach a shared goal with your community, learning new hobbies and skills. Volunteering offers you the chance to practice important skills used in the workplace, such as teamwork, communication, problem solving, project planning, task management and organisation, and most importantly, helping each other generates happiness. People who are kind and compassionate see clear benefits to their well-being, happiness and overall health. Hey, they may even live longer. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website www.vivavolunteering.com Hello, Rachel Oliver here. Thank you for joining me at one of Manchester's most popular places. We're here today at Withenshaw Hall, a grade two listed timber framed Tudor house, which is both historically interesting and famous for its ghostly activities. So the house was built in 1540 by Robert Tatton of Chester and was home to the Tatton family for almost 400 years. However, during the winter of 1643, the house was besieged by parliamentary forces during the English Civil War. Despite a strong defence put up by Robert Tatton and his fellow royalists, the house was overwhelmed by the superior weaponry of the Roundhead soldiers. That included two cannons that were brought in from nearby Manchester. Caught in the crossfire was one Murphy Webb, a former servant to the family. And it's reported that she was killed during the battle. Her cries can sometimes be heard coming from the upper reaches of the hall. So, we're here today to delve into the rich tapestry of this hall and hopefully we might just catch a glimpse of Withenshaw Hall's very own White Lady.